The Interministerial Committee on Land Reform has updated the nation on the outcomes of a recent meeting that was chaired by Deputy President David Mabuza. Now, earlier this month, the Minister of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development, Togo Tidiza, said close to 900 farms on state land would be released to the public. Our reporter, Mbali Tetani, attended the briefing and she joins us live now to give us the the highlights of uh, what came out of that media briefing. Bali, good afternoon to you. So, uh, policy certainty in as far as the issue of expropriation of land without compensation, that bill is now set to go back to Parliament. How did the ministers answer on the issue of when this issue of uh, the amendment of Section 25 of the Constitution uh, will be finalised? That's right, Tukoli. Of course, uh, it was really a very difficult uh, briefing, uh, especially uh, to follow. Uh, but what we essentially got out of this uh, briefing is that uh, the issue of land expropriation without compensation, we know that that bill now is, of course, uh, with Parliament, so uh, the legislative process is now expected uh, to follow. Uh, but we also heard uh, Minister DeLille uh, just basically outlining, saying that uh, this bill is expected to replace the expropriation Act of 1975 and basically highlighting that well expropriation in the country is really not something new uh, that the government and the and, and the, the various provinces they do have the power uh, to expropriate land without compensation and of course uh, what has also come out early which is quite of importance is that uh, the courts will also be roped in uh, where if your if your land will be expropriated without compensation you can then approach uh, the court and they can actually then see how uh, you can be compensated. So basically, in a nutshell, that's where we are right now mm -hmm. when it comes to the issues around land expropriation without compensation. The legislative process is underway. It's still not clear how long that process is expected to take. Of course, we know that President Cyril Ramaphosa did say that he wants to see this process done by the end of 2020. And we then also saw... Uh, the Minister Togo uh, Didiza basically saying that because of the issues around COVID-19 and battling uh, COVID-19 this year, it has somewhat slowed down that process. So it's still not clear Oli, as to when uh, this process uh, is expected to wrap up because now does sit uh, with Parliament. Uh, this is also a bill that has been approved uh, by the Cabinet itself following various meetings, especially meetings at NADLAC. And also another quite important important issue that came out today is the issue that you've also touched on Oli, is the issue around farm killings and uh, we've now seen that uh, there will now be a task team that will be appointed to look into the issues around uh, rural safety. We've seen various protests taking place. There was another protest yesterday here in Pretoria Oli, uh, where farmers have basically been saying that well they are not safe when they are on their pieces of property and this basically stems uh, from that killing in which we saw protests in Sienekal in the Free State. So this is something that uh, the Togo Tidiza, uh, the minister, is saying that they are looking into and they will try and address it uh, through this task team which has now been appointed. All right, Mbali Tetane, thank you very much for that uh, comprehensive update. Mbali Tetane giving us uh, the highlights of uh, the media briefing that took place on land reform.